Good evening, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. October 8th, 2017, Sunday evening, 9.23 p.m. Mountain Time. Tonight we're going to be talking about a big data finding the medieval warm period is actually warmer than all the denialists have told us. Now, the kind of data we've been getting from the global warming alarmists has you've seen graphs similar to this that has the GISP-2 or the Greenland Ice Core data and all the different versions of it and they weave in here the global warming alarmists modern warm temperatures and this is accepted by the masses and this is an, a very typical headline the so-called medieval warm period not so warm after all blah 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 it actually says in here that check this out that a group of islands in the Arctic Ocean 400 miles north of Norway had been 3.6 Fahrenheit and 4.5 Fahrenheit higher over the past 25 years, right now, on average, than the Vikings enjoyed. What? It's warmer now than the Vikings? Well, why aren't the Vikings there? Why'd they die off? This is preposterous, and I'll show you why. Because more than 700 scientists from 400 institutions in 40 countries have contributed peer-reviewed papers providing evidence that the medieval warm period was real, global, and warmer than in the present. And I'll leave you links to 75 papers with hundreds of uh, authors on the preposterous nature of what these the IPCC and NASA and NOAA are claiming as the truth. Now, this new study, which uh, I'll leave you links to the paper here, is by a hero of mine, Jennifer Morohassi. She's still doing real science, even though I'm sure she's one of the top harassed female climatologists in the world. She's still getting funded, and she just used a supercomputer, the biggest computer in the world. The application of machine learning for evaluating anthropogenic versus natural climate change. They did this amazing computer modeling using the computer models <laughs> that predict our weather. And what they found out was amazing. After applying the latest big data technique to six 2,000 year long proxy temperature series, we cannot confirm that recent warming is anything but natural. What might have occurred anyway? even if there was no industrial revolution. There are, however, multiple lines of evidence indicating it was about a degree warmer across Europe during the medieval warm period, corresponding with the 1200 AD rise in our northern hemisphere composite. In fact, there are oodles of published technical papers based on proxy records that provide a relatively warm temperature profile for the period. This was before the Little Ice Age when it was too cold to inhabit Greenland. I just showed you these papers. You'll get links to them all, so you have a lot of reading to do, folks. But this new study using this supercomputer confirms it. And it's right here. I'm going to leave you links to that. And what that means is I've done a redraw of the data. Okay? This is the original GISP-2 with the manufactured modern warm glued on here, right in this area. And keeping out everything here two degrees cooler, you know, it has to be, this has to be the warmest time ever. This is not even accepted currently, but the reworking with the new data, you get a graph more like this, which makes a lot more sense. Oh dear, where did I go? There we are. This makes a lot more sense, folks. Take a look at it. So what the data shows is that the medieval warm was at least one degree warmer than today. And you can see the clear history of events of one cooling event and a recovery after another. A cooling event and a recovery, a cooling event and a recovery, a cooling event and a recovery. And now we're about to go into a super cooling event. You can also see the continuous downward trends of each cooling event being more extreme than the last as we go down and down and down into the huge 100,000 year cycle, way down, which is the fifth in a great year. 
So this is what the data is showing. I'll leave links to this graph. I'm going to post it on my Facebook page at Solar Shutdown. If you don't know, I'll post the original graph and these papers. Guys, if you don't know about our page, Solar Shutdown, check it out. We also have a page on high alpine sustainability called Oppenheimer Ranch Project, which is how this whole channel got started. So please like and share these uh, to your friends. And I hope you enjoyed the information. You got a lot to look at here as far as the global warming and the new study that shows that the medieval warm is definitely one degree warmer than it is now and that these alarmists and their myths are completely made up nonsense. And the, the current weather is proving this. So follow us with the, uh, updates on our videos and the Grand Solar Minimum updates. Guys, thanks for watching and be safe.